Right now, I'm in a mansion. Or how about a gym? Or a fine dining restaurant? Or how about this? Currently, I'm in my office. Let's add a printer. And a computer. And let's add a bookshelf. If you're wondering how I've done this, well, I'm gonna show you. Let's head back to the bootleg studio. I hope you guys enjoyed that fun bit in the beginning of the video. But hello, I'm Mike. I'm here to show you all the cool new AI and automation features that you can use to supercharge your life and business. And today I have a fun one for you. I'm gonna show you a super simple quick trick to change your video background with AI. This is great for making more professional videos, making them more exciting, or editing that naughty poster out of your background. So let's get started. What we're basically going to do is use Adobe's new AI tool called Firefly. We're going to use their new generative fill feature, which allows you to make AI generated images directly inside of Photoshop. But instead of using it for just images, we're going to use it for our videos as well. If you want to learn more all about Firefly, I have an entire video showcasing all the new features, which you can find somewhere up here. But as I mentioned, Adobe Firefly is only for images. So how did I do it with video? So this is actually the initial video that I recorded outside of my house. And then what I did is I just took a screenshot of the very first frame of the video. And then I used that as the picture for the base of my video. Then I imported my photo into the beta version of Adobe Photoshop. I selected myself and cropped out any unnecessary parts of the picture or parts that I wanted to change. So you can see in this example, I cropped out the door and the frame, which included all of the moving parts of the video. And then once you have the base of your photo, and once again, this should include all of the moving parts of your original video, you can then use the new generative fill feature to fill the photo in with whatever kind of background you like. You can put yourself in a gym, in a pool, in space, whatever tickles your fancy. And then once you have a new background photo that you like, you can export the photo and import it into your video editor of choice. And slight pro tip here, make sure you export the picture as a PNG file, because what this will do is it'll actually crop out the section of your video of where you are, so you don't have to re-edit the background once you import it into your video editor, because then you can just put the imported image right on top of your video in your timeline. Then of course, make sure to stretch the image so it fills the entire video length and then voila. Using this technique, you can stretch out the video to add any kind of background you want or add any element you forgot or you wanna edit out. And also for the office bit, this is the actual room of the office. And I did the same thing except I edited out more of the office so I can make the generation I made in Photoshop a bit cleaner. And then I used Adobe's fill feature to add in the fun elements of the video. I imported all of the new pictures into my timeline and then made the images pop up as I snapped my fingers in the video. It's really that simple. There are some things to note though. You wanna make sure the lighting around the sides of your video does not change. This is to ensure that the background doesn't look like a photo as your original video is playing. You want the original video to blend seamlessly into the background. Also, make sure you don't have too many distracting objects in the background of your cutout. This can make it hard for the AI to generate a good background that fits what you're going with, but you'll just have to keep playing with it to get the desired background that you like. And that's it. Now you know how to use generative fill inside of your videos. If you enjoyed this quick tip, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe. For more AI automation tutorials, tips, tricks, and whatever else I think you need to know to help you and your business. So that's going to be it for me in this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.